Good morning everyone. A cell is a functional unit of a body. So, it has to be alive for performing the various functions. Right? But even dead cells perform specialized function in plants. We already know that cells formed by meristematic tissues take up specific role and lose the ability to divide. They now become permanent tissues. This process of taking up a permanent shape, size and a function is called differentiation. Many of the cells are not alive anymore, yet they keep on functioning. How? Let us look into the different types of permanent tissues. To reiterate, permanent tissues are derived from the merismatic tissues once they lose the ability to divide. Now, the permanent tissues can be of two types. They can be either simple or complex depending on the structure. So, let us first understand the different types of simple permanent tissues. So, what are simple permanent tissues? These are the permanent tissues made of only one kind of cells. Hence, the cells look like each other and also carry out the same function or the similar set of functions. And that is the reason they are called simple tissues. The first kind of simple permanent tissues are parenchyma tissues. These tissues are made with relatively unspecialized living cells with thin cell wall. They are the basic packing tissues. If you observe, they are loosely packed. So, large spaces are found between the cells. That is, we can say the intercellular spaces are large. You know, this tissue does different tasks in different plants. Generally, it provides support to the plants and also stores food. But, some parenchyma tissues contain chlorophyll so they can prepare food. This type of parenchyma tissue is also called chlorenchyma. In aquatic plants, large air cavities are present in the parenchyma to give them buoyancy and to help them float. Such type of parenchyma tissues are called erenchyma tissues. Now you must have observed that plants can easily bend at various parts such as stem, leaves etc. Well, this flexibility in plants is due to another type of simple permanent tissue which is called colenchyma. Colenchyma allows easy bending in various parts of the plant without breaking and provides the mechanical strength. These tissues can be found in the leaf stalk that is in the petiole below the epidermis layer. This epidermis layer is the outermost layer of the cell. Now, what is the structure of colenchyma cells? The cells of colenchyma tissue are living, elongated and irregularly thickened at the corners. And hence, there is very little intercellular space. The third type of simple permanent tissue is sclerenchyma. It is the tissue which makes the plant hard and stiff. You must have seen the husk of a coconut. It's very hard. It is made of sclerenchymatous tissue only. They are long and narrow as the walls are thickened due to lignin. This chemical lignin acts like cement and hardens the cells. Sclerenchyma tissues are present in the stems around the vascular bundles, in the veins of leaves and in the hard covering of seeds and nuts. So, no need to say they provide strength to the various parts of the plant. So, now you know broadly the permanent tissues in the plants are of two types. Simple permanent tissues and complex permanent tissues. Few permanent tissues are made of one type of cells which look like each other and these are called simple permanent tissues. Whereas, Complex permanent tissues are made of more than one type of cells. These cells coordinate with each other to perform a common function and we shall learn about them in our later classes. And what are the three types of simple permanent tissues? They are parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. What are the characteristics of parenchyma tissues? They are made of living cells with thin cell walls and have 
large intercellular spaces. The second type is colon chyma, which comprises of elongated living cells. They have irregularly thick cell walls and have little intercellular space. And the last type is sclerenchyma tissues, which consists of long and narrow dead cells having thickened cell walls. So that was all about simple permanent tissues and we shall learn about the complex permanent tissues in our next class. Till then, bye bye.